Well, hello, Capricorn. Welcome to Readings at the Round Table. I'm Jennifer. I have a few co hosts here today. And here comes one right now Badger. Um, <laughs> Jasmine's on, uh, well, actually, now she's walked over here to get herself something to drink. Jasmine's the dog. The other cats may be walking through here as well, but they look like they're sound asleep, so I'll introduce them as they come through. All right, Capricorn, this is your reading for August 29th through September 4th. This is a general reading, Capricorn, so if this resonates with you, that is wonderful. If it doesn't, that's okay, too. Just make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising so that you can get all the pieces to the puzzle for your picture of the week. That's great. All right. All right, Capricorn, let's get into this. So, um, I've been reading about careers and jobs. Um, so let's see what, how this leads us. Okay, Capricorn? Should be fun, right? All right, let's get this uh, camera switched up, if I can do it right. Ha ha, how about that? Okay. Okay, Capricorn, if you are new here, I'm going to tell you what all of these rows represent. For some reason, that's like stuck. Okay, so these rows are, this is where you're coming from. This row is. This is where you're headed. I mean, this is where you are now. Sorry, sorry. And this is where you're headed. Okay, Capricorn? Now I'm going to pull some tarot cards just to get a, um, like, the solid picture here. Oh, my cat cleans his leg. Thankfully, it is just his leg. You know, they get on my cameras and they start cleaning, like, their privates. And I'm like, really? Is that necessary in life? Apparently, it is. Yeah. little okay well Capricorn hmm shaping up pretty nicely okay so what's holding you back Capricorn balance knowledge Hmm. Faith, even, with the High Priestess. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what we got here. So, I feel like where you've been, Capricorn, is actually a really good place. You've been in a solid place. You've been in a place of making money, changes, um, harmony. It was just like everything that you wanted, everything that you could ask for. Now, it seems like for some reason, and I don't really know what, how, why there was a, like some sort of transition. I don't know if you decided to leave a job or if you were laid off or if the job just ended, like if you were a contract employee and the job ended, or maybe you even retired. I don't know. But this this job where you were came to an end and at first you were just like all right okay I'm gonna sit back I'm gonna rest I'm gonna take some time I'm gonna um, put my put my energies like you know to not necessarily good I mean you're putting them to good use 
but you're not, you're just sitting and you're like, let me think about what I need to do next. Let me formulate a plan. And I think that this is very restorative because even though this job was really, really great and it, you know, you made a lot of money and you learned a lot of stuff. I feel like this job still was very taxing on you and I feel like it drained your energy quite a bit. So you didn't have a lot of time to enjoy the fruits of your labor and now you're like, oh, okay, I can enjoy the fruits of my labor. I just don't have a lot of money for it. So this is a time of really examining your personal power, your inner strength. It's also a time of examining your intuition. Now, this could be a this could also be coming up because you don't feel as in control as you normally do. You don't feel like you're the one that's you're the one that's driving. You feel like this is um you know, what, what is happening, what's, where, um, it's almost like you feel like it, it, there's something being taken away from you. Um, no, that's not right either. Um, it, it's, it is, it's a loss, but it's a loss of control. It's not exactly that something's being taken away from you. You just don't feel like you're in control of the movements anymore. Now, that's why this uh, deception and envy is coming up because you're sitting back and you're looking at other people that have like um, a different timeline on their career path, a different placement on their career path. And you're just thinking, I, you know, I wish that was me. I wish that could be me. I wish that that's where I was right now because Capricorns like for things to be in order Capricorns like for things to be like you know I said I was gonna be here at age 30 I said I was gonna be here at age 35 you know I said I was gonna be here at age 50 you know they like for things to have a nice progression and to be in order but sometimes let's face it Capricorn you get a wrench thrown into the works so you're just sitting back and this isn't like sometimes I get a lot of different things with this card, but sometimes I get that somebody's trying to pull the wool over your eyes or you're finally opening your eyes up to a situation. I don't see that here. I see that it's just you're sitting back and you're just like, I really wish that was me. I really wish I knew exactly what I was supposed to be doing. I really wish I knew where I was supposed to be going. That's why you're having a hard time with your faith. That's why you're having a hard time with your, um, like your psychic abilities. Sorry. Um, the cats are just like, they just move my stuff around like all the time. <laughs> um, it drives me crazy and I have Capricorn rising. So, you know, I like for things to be in order. So, um, that's why you're having such a hard time with like faith. That's why you're having such a hard time with this knowledge and with balance. You're having a little bit of a hard time with that right now because you like for things to be together and they're not. You like for things to be in order. They're not. Um, you like for, you know, you like to know that you're in charge of the situation and right now you're not. So that's okay. That's all right. What you need to do is going forward, this is where you're headed, okay Capricorn? What you need to do going forward is realize that you have the key to this. Don't be trapped. Don't feel like you're trapped in a place that you can't get out of. Don't feel like you're trapped in a place that you can't rise up from. You can start over anytime you wish. You have the key. And the great thing is, is that you may not even need a key to ex escape this. All you have to do is look up. All you have to do is look up and see this window. That's it. That's it. And as soon as you do, as soon as you see the light that's shining on you, as soon as you realize that you're not trapped here, that it's just, a, it's a prison of your own making, you're going to be like, ah, really? really that is fantastic and as you do see that 
your connection with spirit grows your uh, your spirituality all of a sudden brings everything into balance and you start going wow wow is this really like how this is happening and you don't feel envy anymore you don't feel like that i'm being left out thing um it really is like it brings you into a place of creativity it brings you into that connection with spirit it's it really has um a fantastic effect on you because the next card we see is transformation transformation is never easy it's never easy but what you're going through is is going to be worth the price of the ticket it's absolutely going to be worth the price of the ticket having faith i mean my gosh it's really having faith having that wisdom beside you having that knowledge that you're carrying around with you is absolutely worth it now during this transformation during this this time of like leveling up of this time of spiritual growth it's this is not going to be the easiest thing you've ever done because you're changing you're changing your taste quite a bit the what i love about the five of cups is that these cups are turned over but these are still here and he's turned away from the ones that are still here He's lost his taste for it. This no longer serves him. It's not that he's lost everything. He's just like, this is no longer what I want. This is no longer what I want. So it's time to put the nail in that coffin. It's time to put the nail in that coffin. It's time to put a pin in it. It's time to be done and just say, you know what? Okay, let's let, let's let this fruit rot on the vine because I've got another one that I want to take a look at. And this is where you start discovering that you truly are in a place where you can create your own reality. This is truly in where you start seeing how much you have in your tool belt, how much you want to add to your tool belt, but how much you have a connection with everything out there and it's never ending. That it's an abundance of connection with everything. And it, it's not just about um, your mental acuity and how smart you are. It's not just about how emotional you, you are. It's not just about how rich you are or how um, uh, um, successful you are. This has to do with you being in touch with all of those things and having all of those tools ready to grab at a moment's notice. And you know you can do it. Yes, you can. Okay, a little bit emotional, but not bad because you're also very creative. Maybe creative isn't the right word. Um, it's, it is, it's creative. It's some sort of artistic bent here, but this is a very spiritual person. So the King of Cups is a spiritual dude here. So if you're moving forward and you're wanting to step into a spiritual path or a more spiritual path, you're stepping into it. You're stepping into it. And you're also stepping into it with a really great upper hand because I feel like you've been working your way into this for a while. So your spiritual, um, your spiritual strength, your spiritual knowledge, your spiritual connection here with the crown chakra card is definitely going to get you to where you want to go in your career. I don't necessarily feel like it's a spiritual, it's a spiritually based career path, but I do believe that spirit gets you into the place where you want to be, where you really say, hmm, okay. I want to run my own business. I want to run this business. I want to, you know, Capricorns really are um, ambitious. So, you know, you could be wanting to do a lot of things, but you're stepping into it with an upper hand because you have embraced this connection with spirit and you're just like, all right, I know you're leading me in the right direction. And that's the great thing about, um, well, this card, the Hierophant, is that you are living by your own rules. Sorry, I'm so thirsty. Your own belief system. You are living that. 
and there's uh, there's nothing that anyone can say to move you off of that you're doing really good you are an authority figure in your life if you can stop sitting in fear for just a few minutes if you can stop sitting it's not fear it's worry if you can stop sitting in worry that nothing's going to turn out the way it's supposed to you'll see that you're the you are the authority in your own life you're the one that's making this happen hmm i like that capricorn I really like that what this card is not coming up. I really like that whatever skills that you've had, um, they translate. They translate with new, uh, with a new beginning, with a new, um, like with a new job. And I, it, this could even be a job with the same company that you work for now. But like I said, you could. this could also be for somebody who's retiring. So take it as it applies to you, Capricorn. But um, hmm. I think this is, I, I really do think that this is fascinating because you've definitely, you're definitely walking away from, away from something that you lost your taste for. And you're just like, this no longer serves me. I keep hearing that a lot today. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, I really like that. Because it this full moon eclipse card means conclusions are within reach. It means that you're getting the answer. It's coming right to you. It just may not look like you think it should. It may not be the answer that you think it should. Um, but it's a good answer and it's better than what you thought. Yeah, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. We have two more at least. I think just two more. Two more eclipses um, this year. One solar, one lunar. Okay. I am not going to attempt to say his name. Um, my, yeah, I'm not going to do it. Um, soul expansion. Um, your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Oh my gosh. What was I just saying? What was I just saying? That you are connected to everything. You're, you're lining everything up. A connection to everything. Wow, that's so awesome. The dragonfly. An illusion. Alright, I definitely need my glasses for this. Okay. <clears throat> so, the moon card. Conclusions are within reach. And, um... Again, I'm not going to try to say his name, but this is a really pretty card. So I'm going to bring this up a little closer. Um, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. And the dragonfly. Dragonfly wings reflect and shift light and color to allow you to see through the veil of illusion and you see where magic reigns. Wow. Tied to water and air, it reminds us that change can be emotional and mental. Seek change. Look at what is in front of you and look at what is behind you to gain a clear perspective. Wow. So you really do need to look at where you were at in order to appreciate moving forward and and saying, okay, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm going. I like that. I love that about the dragonfly. That it's just tied to water and air. It reminds us that change cannot can be, sorry, that change can be emotional and mental. Seek change. Look at what is in front of you and behind you to gain perspective. 
Well, that is definitely, that is definitely a winner in my book, Capricorn. So you got to learn from the past. You definitely have to learn from the past. And I do think that you've learned some hard lessons, especially this past year. The lessons aren't over, but they're not going to get any harder. They're just going to get easier to understand. Not too shabby, Capricorn. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you joining this new channel. This is a brand new channel um, called Readings at the Roundtable, obviously. And it's uh, from Metaphysical Roundtable. So if you're interested in seeing some of the shows on that channel, head on over and check out Metaphysical Roundtable. We've got card reviews, astrology, live shows, uh, tutorials. We're getting ready to start a live tutorial on numerology on September 7th. That should be fun. Um, so I appreciate you so much uh, for joining me tonight. And until I see you again, get out there and make your magic. Bye.